Now that you have created a structural model with the basic structural framing, it is time to go back to the architectural model and place actual building elements rather than just blocking forms. You will now replace the forms placed earlier with intelligent objects like walls, doors, and windows. These objects are also part of the data group catalog system and can hold a great deal of information, not only graphical data like their height and width, but metadata such as type IDs or numbers, materials, fire ratings, and manufacturer or model numbers. Let's go back and review the design sketch. We can see that the design includes a brick exterior wall with a lot of glass, glass door front, glass doors, and a lot of clear story windows. There are also exposed columns and beams and a sloped metal roof. As you place the walls, doors, and windows in the next several exercises. You will also add data or information about each object as it is placed. To start this next chapter, Modeling Architectural Elements, you can continue to work in the same model, a station model, or you can browse to the X Milestones folder where completed models are stored for the start of each chapter. Open the folder and select the A Station Model 4 file. I will continue with the A station model in my design folder. In order to begin, we should reference in the structural model for coordination. Drag and drop the structural model, S station model, to view 1 to attach it as a reference file. Set the attachment method to recommend it. Now you are ready to start placing walls, doors, and windows in the model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.